Introduction to Scientific Notation Scientific notation is a way of expressing numbers that are too large or too small to be written in decimal forms. Scientific notation can simplify certain arithmetic operations because they present the numbers that are too large or too small in a very brief format. And here is the format, m times 10 to the power of n. m is called the significant and is a real number between 1 and 10. It can be negative or positive, that's why I'm using this absolute value sign for m here. n is called the exponent and can also be any real number, both negative or positive. We also have engineering notation, which is similar to scientific notation. The only difference is that m can be any number and it doesn't have to be between 1 and 10. In following slides, I'm going to give you more examples of scientific and engineering notation. Here we have some examples of both decimal format and the scientific format. So the first two examples are not too large or too small, but you can always convert any number that you want to the scientific format. Notice that the significant, the absolute value of significant is a number between 1 and 10. We have this negative example here. Also notice that the exponent can be negative or positive. For the negative case, it is showing the decimal places, the number of decimal places in the number. And in the positive case, it shows the number of digits in front of the first digit. Most calculators and many computer programs present very large and very small results in scientific format. And here is the format, M-E-N which is equal to m times 10 to the power of n. Here is an example, 2.7e6, which is equal to 2.7 times 10 to the power of 6. As I said, many computer programs like Excel, Visual Basic, MathCAD, and MATLAB also use scientific notation to show very large or very small values. You can also locate this engineering notification mode key on your engineering calculator. If you press this key, it will convert the result on your screen to the scientific notation. As I said, the only difference between scientific and engineering notation is that for engineering notation, the significant number doesn't have to be a number between 1 and 10. In this table, I am showing you some of the prefixes and symbols that engineers use to present very large and very small numbers to further simplify these numbers. The first column is the exponential presentation. The numbers are from 10 to the power of negative 15 to 10 to the power of 12. Second column is decimal equivalent. Third column is the prefixes tera, giga, mega, kilo, hecto, deca, deci, centi, milli, micro, nano, pico, and femto. And the last column is showing the symbols that engineers use. Among these prefixes, these prefixes in green and these in blue are the most commonly used prefixes in engineering communications and calculations. Giga, mega, kilo, centi, milli, micro, and nano. Here I am giving you two examples from the real world that scientists and engineers are using scientific notations to simplify the presentation of very small and very large numbers. Here on the left side, we have this scanning electron microscopy of alumino nanotube. Notice that the diameter of each tube is about 50 nanometer, a very, very small number. And on the right side, we have this stress strain care for steel. Notice that the yield strength for steel is 350 megapascal, which is equal to 350 times 10 to the power of 6 pascal. Another point I wanted to make here is about significant digits. Significant digits or significant figures are the digits in a number that are necessary to indicate the quantity of something. Now suppose the length of an object is 102.8 millimeters. So the significant digits in this number are 1, 0, 2, and 8. 
Now suppose there are some zeros before and after this number. This is called leading zero and these are called trailing zeros. These zeros are insignificant in insignificant digits, but this in-between zero is a significant digit. Now suppose we have a ruler and the smallest interval between the marks is one millimeter. So the uncertainty of our measurement is one millimeter and this is the resolution of our um, measurement. So if the uncertainty is one millimeter, then only one, zero and two are the reliable digits. 8 is not a reliable digit because it is within the uncertainty of our measurement. Now remember this format for scientific notations. M is called significant and it has to include all the significant digits of our number. And that's why it is called significant. As another example, suppose we have 0 0.056 meters, which is equal to 56 millimeters. So again, the significant digits are only 5 and 6. And these two zeros, which are leading zeros, are insignificant digits because they are not necessary to indicate the length here. Now again, if the uncertainty or the measurement resolution is 1 millimeter, then again, reliable digits are also only 5 and 6. Now suppose we have 15,000 grams, which is equal to 15 kilograms. So if our uncertainty or our measurement resolution is 1 kilogram, so these trailing zeros would be only placeholders for 1s, 10s, and 100s, and there's no other meaning to that. So these are insignificant digits. And only 1 and 5 are the significant digits in this number. In this number and as one kilogram is our uncertainty so only one and five are the reliable digits in this number so that was what I wanted to share about scientific notations and I hope you find it useful in your future communication and calculations thank you for listening